Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kemtech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over one of the try hacking rooms. Obviously, you make sure you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So today I want to go over one of the try hacking. I want to go over a SOC analyst uh, try hacking room. And then tomorrow I'll make another video on probably CompTIA A plus stuff. But today I just focus on making a video on junior security analyst introduction. So let me share my screen. I'm going to go over it real quick. All right. So I should, you should be able to see my screen. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just in case. So this is the junior security analyst intro. Play through a day in the life of junior security analyst and their responsibilities and qualifications need to land a role as an analyst. So junior security analyst role, you would be a track specialist. You would spend a lot of time trying and monitoring the event of logs and alerts. Responsibilities for, for junior security analysts or tier one SOC analysts include monitor and investigate alerts. Most of the time, it's 24-7 SOC operations environment. Configure and manage the security tools. Develop and implement basics of IDS, intrusion deten detention system signatures. Participate in SOC working groups, meetings. Create tickets and escalate the security in, uh, incidents to the tier two and team lead if needed. Uh, yeah, this is true. So you're, you may need to, it really depends, like SOC, is, SOC roles, our, our junior security roles are supposed to be injury level, but um, you know how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like zero to two years of experience. Basically, understanding of networking and the OSI model, TCP IP, operating systems, web application, TCP IP. Um, there's a room for introduction networking. We might should do this room later, later on this year. Um, scripting program skills are a plus. And yeah, security plus. So like, let me see if I click on security plus what happens. I haven't clicked on that. All right. All right, so yeah, okay, all right, that's fine. That's, I'm working on Security Plus right now myself. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to wonder, I was wondering why you click on it. Yeah, and then this is the actual, like, the the chart of what you do, right? Like, like Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. Tier 1 monitors network traffic logging events, works on tickets, closes alerts, performs basic investigation, um, mitigations. And then you have Security Operation Analyst, Tier 2, Incident Responder, focus on deeper investigation and analysis and remediation. Correctly hunts for adversaries, monitors, resolves more complex alerts. And then they have SOC Operation Analyst Tier 3. Threat Hunter works on advanced investigations, performs advanced threat hunting and adversary search and malware reversing. So, yeah, that's it for this one, for this section, Task 1. Um, I already know the answer to this, to, to this question because I did this room already. So, so um, if in the Junior Security Analyst role, you will be a... Triage specialist. That's the answer to question, the question number one that's down there. So it says here, what would be your role as a junior security analyst? So if we copy and paste that, that should be the answer. Um, we'll go back, we'll go to the SOC or uh, security operation center next. And this is a, this is the this is the fun part for me because um this stuff that that people like to do. Some people love SOC analyst roles, some people want to do more of the red team. Really depends what you want to do. For me, SOC is pretty interesting. Um, that in um, that in 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 in, in Qualis, you know, like credit cards and um, hacking and and um, investigations and looking at things and see what they are and stuff like that. So, the core function of SOC is to investigate, monitor, prevent response to threats in in a cyber realm twenty four seven around the clock. For McAfee's definition of SOC, security operations teams are in charge of monitoring and protecting many assets, such as into the intellectual property, personal data, uh, business systems, and brand integrity. As the, implement, as the implementation component of an organization's overall cybersecurity framework, security operations teams act as a central point of collaboration and coordinated, coordinated efforts to monitor, assess, and define uh, against cyber attacks. Number of, people, number of people working in SOC can vary depending on the organizational size. That makes sense. Yep. That's what, what the uh, responsibilities of a SOC is. Yep. They, they create tickets. So that's why I like and tell everyone, like, so that's why I tell everyone that I work with that, that, that wants to get into cybersecurity. And I told them, like, if you already work help desk, right, some of the stuff you may be doing already that is, it's, you could tailor it to SOC, right? Because we're in help desk, we do do a ticketing system. Um, uh, depending where you work, you may collect log information. Uh, depending where you work, you may report or you may work with your security team. So like half of the stuff you may be doing in help desk already, if that makes sense. 
The other half, you have to learn how to do it. So like SIM, for example, like security information and event management, like you have Splunk, right? Like what, what, do you, what SIM tool are you going to use, right? It really depends, right? Knowledge base, research and development, uh, threat intelligence, um, version and, and correlation. Like it really, it really depends. But you know what I'm talking about. Like if you work help desk, you should have some of the, you should be familiar with some of the stuff that's here, if that makes sense. Um, as a junior security analyst, you should stay in form of current cybersecurity threats. Obviously, yeah, Twitter, whatever, like, and there's a security roadmap right here. Click on it and open. Let's look at that real quick. The security roadmap. Interesting. It's the art platform. Interesting. All right. To understand the TTPS, you should you should look at cyber cyber securities and infrastructure security agency. Uh, let's click on that real quick and take a look. Okay. Interesting. And then SOC uses a SIM tool and the NDR. This is like like endpoint detection and response. So like you would see like CrowdStrike. Really, really depends what company you work for. Some companies use CrowdStrike, some companies use something else. Really depends where you work. Um yeah, for malicious network activity, and then um, you install that that specific software on the endpoint, and then you're able to analyze what is going on behind the scenes. What is the customer doing? What are they running? What are they opening? You can block executable files. Um, you can block certain USB ports if you want, if that's what you want to do for a computer. Uh, you can block certain types of file associations if you like it's entirely up to you too you could do that it really depends it's it's um from case to case scenario right it really depends right so their job is to like it says your junior's jobs is to investigate they perform triggering ongoing alerts by exploring and understanding how a certain attack works and preventing bad things from happening yep so that's that's what i did in one of that's what i did in my previous job like we would run a scan um we would, we would run remediation scripts, and then we would check at the vulnerabilities, and then we would try to implement a fix for the vulnerabilities, and then we would rerun another scan and just make sure that that vulnerability is no longer a vulnerability. Um, and that's how you that's how you do it. Like basically, you're preventing attacks from happening. You're preventing um, Kali Linux attacks, like Meta, like Metasploit, uh, Man in the Middle. Uh, I was gonna say Man in the Middle attack. Sorry, um, you know, Casper Sprain. Uh, brute force attack. Uh, it really depends what you're trying to do, but like those, we're trying to prevent those attacks. If that makes sense. All right. So this is after investigation. Stock coordinates take, takes action on compromised hosts, which involves isolating from the host of network, terminating malicious uh, malicious process, deleting files, and more. Yeah. So yeah. So you'll see like malware, ransomware, uh, whatever whatever you have. But you should have like an antivirus. You should have an uh, and in, in DR, really depends, right? So I remember working with a customer that had a laptop that had ransomware. We couldn't really do much after that. It was all messed up. This is like a long time ago. It was like over 10 years ago. But yeah, uh, let's go to this side now. So this is day in the life of, of a junior associate security analyst. To understand job responsibilities of junior security analyst, let us first show you what a day in the life of junior security analyst looks like and why it's an exciting career journey. To be in the front end is not always easy. It can be very challenging as you will be working with various log sources from different tools that will walk you through the path. You get a chance to monitor the network traffic, including the IPS, intrusion prevent prevention system, and IDS, intrusion detection systems. One of the most exciting warnings is when you finish working on an incident and have managed to remediate the threat. Incident response may take hours, days, or weeks. It really depends on the scale of the attack. Yeah, this is something that I... This time, I'm like, because I'm sweating over here, because <laughs> I'm, I'm having, I'm coughing right now. So this is this is something that that I talk about, um, and I'm gonna stop sharing. And it's like, like, Kevin, okay, why you stop sharing? Because I got, I gotta go over this. So like, tonight I talk about like when you have it. It's, uh, so I, I do, I go to a cybersecurity summit event every year, right? And we do tabletop exercises, right? So like, who's it affecting? If, if there's like a hack over on a better, like we had a discussion about this. Who's it? Who's it affecting? Um. Who do we tell um, confidentiality, confidentiality, right? Like who knows, who doesn't know? Uh, who do we tell? How do we lay it out? Um, do you guys have a, plug, a playbook, right? Like really, really depends. Like what do you have set up on your environment? Like in like this certain way of doing it, right? We don't just, okay, 
This guy hacked. Okay, we're good to go. We're done. No, no, no. It's just way more in depth than that. People think people think it's just like you fix it and that's it. No, you have to write a report. You have to let people know. You have to make sure that the the information is not compromised. You have to make sure that the information is not leaked out to the third party person. You know, it's it's more than what you think it is. So I'm gonna share my screen again. All right. So most rewarding thing, blah 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 blah. blah. Yep. Yeah. So now they want me to do one of the rooms. So it says click on the view green, click on the green view site button. It has to open the st statistic. Oh, sorry, static site lab and navigate to security monitoring monitoring tool on the right panel to try and identify the suspicious activity. So I'll click view site. You should see it. Uh, let me. Zoom in a little bit so you guys could see it. Sometimes my camera gets in the way, right? So it says here, day in the life of junior, junior associate security analyst. Uh, inspect the alerts in the same dashboard. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you guys could see it. Yeah, so this is the this is the sim dashboard. And then it says your operations information, 40%. Uh, security suspicious. Uh, thirty percent security attack, thirty percent. Then you could click on this, which I didn't know that. I was playing with this earlier. Security attack, thirty percent, thirty percent, forty percent. Goes to that one. Click on this one. Goes to that one. Click on this one. And goes to that one. So I already did. The, I already clicked on the view site. So that's that's done. It says, what are the malicious malicious IP address in this alert? Like the malicious IP addresses in the alerts. Like what are the the alerts coming? Where's it coming from, right? So you got to look at this carefully. So it says successful SSH authentication attempt to port 22 from IP address 221.181.185.159. Unauthorized connection attempt. So this is, this is what they're talking about. So if I go here, that should be the answer. So I put 221.181. Dot one eight five dot one five nine. Um, and hit submit. That's the right answer. And it says, to whom do you escalate the event associated with the with the malicious IP address? Um, before I even go, let's go over this. User John John Doe logged in successfully. Multiple fail login attempts for John Doe. Login failure. Login failure. Specify account the password as expire. Event ID five three five. So this is where I got lost. Um, and I had to I had to go. I had to click on everything, which I did, and I found out later that you could see see how all these are green, and this is red because it's unauthorized. But you could click on this too. I didn't know that. So literally, what I did was I put the IP address, which is why it's coming up as a pop up for me, and you hit submit, and it says there are many open source data that you could use for intelligence, review, perform, and reputation, locate, check the IP address. Most security analysts use these tools to aid them with uh, investigation. You can also make an internet safer by reporting the malicious IP address, for example, on a abuse IPDB. Now that we know the IP address is malicious, we need to escalate to a staff member. So that goes back to the question on the left-hand side. To whom do you escalate the event associated with the malicious IP address? So let's hit next. We shouldn't worry too much if we fail. If, if it was a failed authentication attempt, we should probably notice that successful authentication attempt from the malicious IP address. Let's declare a small incident event and uh, escalator. There is some great staff working at the company, but you wouldn't want to escalate it to the wrong person. Who is in charge of your team or department? But you wouldn't want to escalate to the wrong person. Who is not in charge of your team and department? Yeah, so choose to whom you would escalate this event. So the Dominic <laughs> doesn't work in IT. Why would I escalate to a sales executive? That doesn't make any sense. Um, says I, I, I already handle... I already handled the responsibility. I would have to escalate to the next person, which is probably my manager or my lead, whoever it is. So security consultant is not going to be that one, uh, which is Nadia. It's not going to be her. And then Carolina, information security architect, she is not going to be her. So I have to escalate it to the SOC team, which is uh, Will Griffin. And that's most likely going to be the answer for this one. So let me type Will Griffin, submit. I got that right, and true style. And now we want to block that IP address, the one, the one that that keeps 
keeps giving us alerts for malicious IP addresses, it would be 221.181.185.153. So these are on the block list already. So we got 101.34.37, 231.212.38, 231.212.39, 231.212.40, 231.212.41. So we're going to block this IP address. You have blocked the malicious IP address until we meet again. So this is the actual answer to this. So after blocking the malicious IP address on the firewall message that the malicious actor leave you with. So we're going to copy and paste this. And then we're going to submit. And we're done. And that's it. That wasn't that bad, right? I'm going to stop sharing. That wasn't that bad, right? It wasn't that, that wasn't that bad of a room. Yeah, so that's it. So that's it for me with this room. It's introduction to junior associate security analyst. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully you understand. If you have any questions, let me know. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and hope you have a good day. Later. Peace. Bye.